You might say our 16K gaming project was a massive success. Well, you might say that if you measure success purely by how many views something gets on YouTube, because the usability of that thing, oh, left a lot to be desired, we know. So, ever since we first unveiled it, we've been waiting for the right moment and perhaps more importantly, the right hardware to bring it back to life better than ever with hopefully a decent actual gaming experience this time. And that day, thank you Jake, has arrived. LG sponsored this video and sent over nine of their flagship curved ultra wide monitors. So all we need to do now then is uh, go see how the old setup has survived its long slumber here in the storage unit. Holy crap. <laughs> this thing has uh, seen some better days, eh? This is a freaking mess. I mean, the good news is most of the wiring is still in place, but like even the underside is that dirty. <laughs> All right, so let's get this, uh, let's get this cleaned up for redeployment here. As many, many of you pointed out, the four by four arrangement of monitors in 16K gaming made the majority of games pretty much impossible to play because any kind of crosshair ended up being hidden behind the bezels right in the middle of our display array. And the abominable frame rates didn't help either. I mean, even though we were running four Quadro P5000s, one for each of our four rows of monitors last time, and those are about equivalent to GTX 1080s, but with 16 gigs of video memory, almost every game ran into some sort of processing or memory bottleneck. It was just, it was just too many pixels. CSGO wouldn't even run. Fortunately though, a couple of months ago, Nvidia's Quadro team oh, launched the GV100, a $9,000 beast of a workstation GPU, and they graciously lent us a few of them. So now we're cooking with gas, baby. These puppies have about 2.93 times the transistor count, so they are much more powerful, and they each come with 32 gigs of high-speed HBM2 memory. Okay, so first things first, we need a system, thank you, that is worthy of those graphics cards. So I wanted to use a 7900X, right. but uh, the last one we had didn't survive a D-lib. So we're using a 7960X instead. Yeah, well, first, For us. First world problem, I yeah. guess. Uh, so the clock speeds are a little bit lower on this one, but let's be realistic here. I mean, even in this new configuration, every card is still running the pixel count equivalent of a 5K display. So the bottleneck is still going to be the GPUs and not the CPU. For our motherboard, Asus sent over their Rampage 6 Extreme, which is gonna be paired with, naturally, 128 gigs of Vengeance RGB DDR4 memory. Wow, this receipt is, uh, hmm, is uh, getting a few more zeros on it here than I had really hoped. Good thing. Corsair and Asus graciously provided these things. And then for power, the obvious choice was Corsair's AX1600i with some sexy Cable Mod Pro style cables to match our IC table. Now cooling is actually surprisingly not a huge concern since our desk PC case is quite open for the GPUs and we're not gonna be overclocking our CPU. So we're gonna be using an NHD15. Now then, it's time for the monitors. As I mentioned earlier, the gaming downside of even numbered monitor grids easily outweighs any advantage. So a three by three grid looked like our best option because five by five was just not gonna be a thing. But rather than simply do a 12K setup, which was our original plan to make the rig somewhat playable, 
we opted to try something new. So these are LG's 34UC99W. These are 3440 by 1440 curved IPS ultrawides. They've got USB Type-C input and FreeSync, and this is cool, they run it up to 75 hertz. So any less demanding games, we might be able to get even more than 60 FPS. And the aesthetic here actually helps our cause a lot too. Check this out. Even the bottom bezel is not much bigger than the sides in the top. Now, this is less of an issue in a standard desktop configuration, but when you start stacking them, it makes a huge difference. Quite literally huge. And holy shit, that curve. Hey, there we go. I don't know why this one's all weird. Okay, your but... scaling's a little, uh, little wonk-tastic there. Got that oh. big start button and that small start. Why do they all have a start menu? Uh, Mosaic is not up yet, so we need to oh. configure Mosaic. Okay. Make it one big display and oh. then we can play some games. This is beautiful. Super. I just love standing right here. Like, what? the sound of my voice echoes back at me. NVIDIA, why you do? Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and then the last piece Next. of the puzzle, bezel correction. Bezel correction, cool. Okay, so this so is here, what we're doing is we're trying to align the road here. That's not bad, actually. No, it's not even close. We what? Need, we need like 100 pixels. What do you mean not even close? No, that's off. You're too far. No, Stop, dude. stop, 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 stop. You can't stop. look no, at just one far. of them. No, it's not. Look at them. You can look at whichever one you want. at an angle. Want. It's a little bit too far on that one, but it's not far enough on a couple. Oh, I see what you mean. You can do it per because monitor. Because the monitors aren't aligned perfectly. Yeah, like... So basically just, because Jake done goofed. Aren't you just so hyped to play games? Yeah. Too bad. NVIDIA says no games. These are quadros. These are not for gaming. <laughs> Professionals have patience. <laughs> You're kidding? <laughs> You're the getting... professionals getting paid to set this up are getting paid by the hour anyway. Yeah. What do they care? Woo! Wow, I get to really drive. Jake, <laughs> pull me! No. Uh, we broke another tech accessory out of the uh, mothballs upstairs. This is our Obutto Revolution cockpit with a Logitech G920 racing wheel that is going through its uh, pre-flight calibration here. And we've got a shifter because Jake assumes that I know how to drive manual. Don't you? Which I do. Yes, yeah. I do. Right, no, the Lambo's manual. Do you okay, so to, I stalled. Do you not know how to drive manual? I know how to drive manual! Uh, how do you restart Well, the how do I restart the car? Whoa, he's doing it! Oh! Oh, no, my, my shifter moved! You gotta downshift. Oh, go downshift. Oh, no! Oh, not again! Oh! Don't, yeah, it's fine. That's okay, I'm pretty good at overwatch. Are you? Really? I've never played Overwatch. Okay. <laughs> it's basically Team Fortress 2 though, right? Okay, like it's a little different. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. There's bud? like 30 heroes. Oh yeah there, bud. That all have unique things, whereas TF2 is like... Oh, look at that. You got an endorsement for being a good teammate. <laughs> they draw back right, but I have to be in the emote. Yeah. Uh, Shoot your left shift at the, at the door there. My what? Left shift. See, they're gonna come and kill you. Yeah, right, you I see. Run. Oh man, you're gonna die. Oh! What? Yeah! No way! First line! Yo, come on, what the hell? That was nuts! You just headshot him! Oh my god. Oh. So worth. Wow. Oh, come on. Click your E. Oh, e. damn it. E. Yes! <laughs> Minus is good at Overwatch. Who knew? Does anyone know how to tell if someone's on my team? Nobody's on your team. You're a, remember, we talked about this. You're oh, so this alone. is like this is like complete free for all. Yeah. Oh. Like you're gonna get, like you're gonna get destroyed. Like. Oh, okay. So I just need to hide, right here forever. Okay. Well, that's not interesting. Like. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, well, that's sort of left, I guess. <laughs> Jackass. All the way left. All right. Whatever. This doesn't run that well. So let's try something else. Look at that. Yeah. This is 75. So they're. I want to try 100 hertz, but I think that's out of the That script, is this video. gorgeous. All right. Okay. Do we have anything else to try? Can it run Crisis? Lock. Okay, what graphics settings are we at? Oh, that low, that yeah. system spec low, that texture low. Let's, yeah, so just... We're not even trying to like run it well then, hey? No. All right. 
Let's We're at 48 it. FPS and we haven't even actually rendered anything other than a black <laughs> screen with some green text on it yet. Dude, this game, this game is very optimized, okay? We are at 17 oh, FPS. <laughs> wow, he looks very what high quality. What year does that look like? Oh, your arm is really detailed. No, it's oh, so it's just the gross. other character models that get completely destroyed. Well, look, your gun destroyed. is gross, but your, your hand is like high quality? I don't Oh, well, uh, oh, wait, what just happened there? How did I not fall down? You just like surfed it. <laughs> Those guys. Oh, forget it. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. Isn't this where I'm supposed to go? I don't, oh. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, and we're done. <laughs> okay. As much as we love using enterprise grade hardware for unconventional things like gaming, Nvidia did ask us very nicely to talk about what these cards are actually made for. So, uh, have you ever seen the multi hundred foot video walls in places like Times Square or in Tokyo? or while watching your favorite sports teams live? Well, they're usually made up of many smaller displays, like our setup here. And even though they're intended to be viewed from far away, so their pixel density is comparatively low, like all of these look great from even just a couple feet away, their overall resolution can get very high, along with their demand for video memory and processing power. And of course, the images all need to be synchronized, even if you're just playing back video. So the sync card would come in handy there. And for a more apples to apples look at the processing power improvements, uh, because gaming at different resolutions just it doesn't really mean anything. We tried out Kronos' V-Ray ray tracing benchmark and found that it actually runs in half the time compared to our last setup. And bear in mind, guys, we are running one fewer actual graphics card in this setup. Aww. So that's pretty much it. Now we just gotta pack this thing up and take it to LTX. Oh. Yeah! So huge, huge thank you to LG for making this project happen. If you guys like what you saw from these monitors, you can pick one up, or nine, at the link in the video description. Or if you want even more pixels, stay tuned because LG is launching their new 5K ultrawide nano IPS display soon. So you can check out the link to that or just Google LG ultrawide for more information on their latest ultrawide displays. Thanks for watching guys. If you disliked, then you clearly hate technology. But if you liked, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should definitely join. How's it going there? Uh, not great. Are We're running Bastion, we just can't. They just can't, oh my god. Did I get more kills than you? Yeah. Oh, mm, yeah. Yeah, but, don't let us! Look, my team, one Elim is gold. That shows you how well my team is playing right now.